The Gambia Police Force has impounded seven vehicles allegedly involved in illegal street car racing, commonly known as stunning. Stunning is considered by the police as a violation of the traffic regulations within the Greater Banjul area. The people caught in the act are charged with offenses contrary to different sections of the Motor Traffic Act ranging from dangerous driving, unlensing vehicles, unauthorized use of tinted glass vehicles, and other traffic offenses. Speaking to the press, the Deputy Public Relations Officer of the Gambi Police Force, Cadet ASP Mohamed Y. Dabo, says the police are sending a serious warning to the public. Um, the police have communicating this now in a more serious language and sending a stern warning to individuals who are involved in such activities. Um, we have understood uh, that most of the time, these are people who do not even own this vehicle. It's either they rent this vehicle or they are uh, been given it by their brothers, their fathers, and their friends. And they go there to do car raising and what many describe as stoning. This is illegal and it is unacceptable. Cadet ASP Dabo advises the public, especially vehicle owners, to desist from giving or renting their vehicles to people involved in such activities. And I think this is a, a great start for, from the level of the police. Of course, uh, there could be more charges to this. In fact, it could attract imprisonment for about five years. But this is more or less a warning to every other individual who have, are involved in such action. Uh, we are showing out that we are serious about this and we're not taking these issues light ever again. Um, individuals, especially parents, vehicle owners, because we have interacted with these people who are involved in the offenses. Some of the vehicles are owned by their own parents. Uh, we are sending a strong advice to all of them uh, to kindly desist from giving their vehicles to their, uh, their children, their kids. Most of these are below the ages of 30. Um, not to be involved in this because it is counted as dangerous driving. Four out of the seven people were arraigned before the Carnifin Tribunal Court. They were all found guilty and fined by the court. Three of the people found guilty were fined $15,000 each, while the fourth person was fined $25,000. The remaining three people are set to appear before the Carnifin Tribunal Court on the 22nd of February, 2023. Reporting for Kirfatu, I am Fatsila.